If you want to see how I got this Snapchat filter inspired look, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how I did it. So one of the things you'll notice is that I have an abundance of powder on my face right now because we are going to be using some glitter in here if you can see it. So just in case there's any fallout, we can just brush that off, add our contour back and be on our way. So to begin, I'm going to draw a loose circle. around my eye. Next, jumbo pencil in milk. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit messed up right now because of what I was using it for, um, but we're just gonna loosely fill that in and then put that to the side for a moment. And then I just use my finger to kind of blend that out. And we're gonna take this all over the lid and down some. So we're going to be using a ton of shadows today, if you can't already tell. Um, the first palette I'm going to reach for is my electric palette. And I'm going to start with the shade Jilted, I believe that is. Yeah, the shade Jilted. Now, if you guys remember, you're not really supposed to use these on your eyes. They don't affect me as much as other people. Um, but that is something that, you know, that kept them from calling this an actual eyeshadow palette. It's a pressed pigment palette. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to blend with a fluffy brush around that uh, ring of white that we just made. Same palette, I'm gonna get the color Urban. It's this purple shade right here. We're gonna take it in just a little bit and do the exact same thing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm taking the Too Faced Alamode Eyes Palette and that blue shade De La Mer. And I'm actually going to take a eyeshadow brush and just dab that on my lid. As you can see, I'm not being overly neat about it. I mean, because it's a it's a galaxy look, so I mean, it looks crazy now. But we're gonna we're gonna make it work. Um, but a lot of this is, you know, blending it out and softening those colors. So we're just gonna dab that on. I'm just gonna grab a spoolie and I'm gonna brush it up for a moment. And you could see all the white from the jumbo eyeshadow stick that we had. So I just took an eye, uh, I'm sorry, an eyebrow brush or an eyeliner brush, and I just kind of filled that in. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows down the way I normally would. So the next shade I'm gonna go for is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, Fruit Punch, this pretty purple shade right here. I'm basically using the same two brushes that I have been using because, I mean, they're all pretty similar. And I just dab this color. You would really wanna press that in in random areas just to give it a little bit of a, a pop of color. I'm gonna go back to the Too Faced Ala Mode palette and that pink shade Monaco. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that and do the same thing. We're just gonna press that into random areas. That same blending brush, <laughs> I told you guys it's gonna be a lot of blending. We're just gonna go back through and blend everything out so it smooths in all together. Now this really is just going to be personal preference as far as what you wanna see and what you like. Um, so if you see something that you feel like you can do a little bit more color or you need to blend a little bit more, um, like I'm gonna go back through and blend out my edges a little bit more. And I'm also gonna end up doing that on this side just to keep some of that symmetry. The uh, Shadow Couture Palette also by Anastasia Beverly Hills to grab this shade Heirloom. And I'm just gonna blend that in too. So the next part, the fun part, um, we're going to start with our glitter. So I have these three glitters. Um, 
Come on, camera. There we go. I have these three glitters. I'm not going to link where I got them from because I'm not very happy with them. They are very chunky glitters. Um, but I did receive, get them from uh, Amazon. I bought them off of Amazon. I didn't receive them from Amazon. Um, but I bought them from Amazon. Not very happy with it. So I'm not going to link them. Whatever glitter you have that matches this motif is fine. Um, but I am going to use the NYX Glitter Primer. And dab it on the random areas of the eye. Starting off with one of my glitters in a flat brush, I'm just gonna start dabbing it in some of the areas I placed that uh, adhesive. Don't worry if like right here you get a little bit more glitter than you want it to while it's still wet, you can grab another brush and kind of blend it out. I'm gonna grab another color and add some more and then we're just gonna repeat that three times if you need to in between you can always add a little bit more of this spray just to give your glitter a little bit more uh, something to stick to next I'm gonna grab that eye, that jumbo eye pencil again and I'm just gonna put a little bit of it on the back of my hand then I'm using actually a nail tool but it's pointed I'm just gonna dip it in there and I'm just gonna put random little stars. Next, you're just gonna grab any black eyeshadow pencil and you're gonna line, we'll go to the bottom one first, your water lines. I also smudged down a little bit into the lash line as well. Next, grab your mascara. Now still with some of that jumbo eyeshadow pencil on the back of my hand, oops, I'm going to take some of it. I'm just gonna make random lines on uh, my eyelashes as well. On Google, on the actual um, on the actual filter, there's constellations. I'm not putting that many constellations, but if you look at this, I oops, zooming in. I did use a little bit of rhinestones just to bring that out and outline it. This one is actually the Leo constellation, which is my star sign. Um, so you just go on, like I said, to Google. Um, on this other eye, I'm going to use Leo Minor. So using that as a guide with that same thing. First, I'm going to take some more of that white eyeliner and I'm actually going to bring it over here somewhere. So I'm going to start plotting my points. Kind of the most difficult part for me at this point was doing this. So I'm just gonna take some eyelash adhesive on the back of my hand and then I have my rhinestones right here. I found the best way to do it was with tweezers. I just place a little bit of the eyeshadow adhesive. Something but, and I'm just gonna tap down on that. it so I am going to fix the rest of my face I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do my lips um, even this out and then we'll be back with the final look so as you can see I am all highlighted up I wanted to be sure that we could actually see my highlight this time um, so all I did for that was I took the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit in the shade summer um, I also set my face with the NYX Dewy Finish. Uh, so while it was still wet, I just went through and added some, some highlight everywhere. So for our lips, you can actually do a number of things. You could always just have a nude lip um, and just call it a day because there's so much going on up here. I actually am going to do a black lip since this is like the galaxy and 
<laughs> I, this sounds bad, sound better in my head. Uh, that would be like the black hole or something. That's what I was thinking anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna take an eyeliner pencil because I don't have black lip liner. And I'm just gonna outline my lips. Because this is such like a bold lip color, I just wanna make sure that it's gonna look right, uh, which is why we line them first. And then this is the Perry Panther CoverGirl and Katy Perry collaboration. Um, and then, like I said, shade Perry Panther. I think it was like eight bucks at CVS. Let's grab this translucent powder. clean brush and I'm just gonna dab this onto my lips so I don't spread the lipstick then for any of the extra powder around your lips you can just grab a fan brush this is pretty much the finished look you can go ahead and add a little bit of highlight to the top of your lip if you'd like um, just to add you know a little bit of a little bit of drama. And I forgot to put my lashes on, but I'm gonna do that before I take my pictures. Uh, for that I had used, um, let me see if I can find it. So it varies a little bit from, you know, the Snapchat filter. There's a lot more constellations in there. However, I just don't got that to do. Um, so I just did my two favorite, Leo. In case anybody else is a Leo, Leo, shout out to y'all. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna post this picture as well, just like comparison pictures, but here's a, a pretty simple Halloween look. Just dress all in black, wear this, and tell them it's your galaxy. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, if you have any ideas, then put them down below. I'm also going to list most of the products that I used. Like I said, I'm not going to list the glitter because I wasn't happy with it. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and tune in next time. Bye!